Shalom. And I start out by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash, double honors to the apostles and us, Great Millstone, salutations to the Ophelet, this pushing is truth, across the four corners of true sacred charity. All uh, right, that's the brother. I'm going to want to buy it from the Birmingham camp, Alabama GMS. Real quick, let's get to the sit down. Um, just how about, you know, how the Lord Yahweh Shai, Shai. You know, he hears the dialect cry. You know, he hears the men of the Lord, you know, uh, from the policy of elders and the brethren on now still continue to complain about this unrighteous kingdom. You know, and the lawyer about to he will, you know, come back and, you know, deliver and avenge his his elect that, you know, continue to sigh and cry about the, all the things that's happening in this world and and all the, the, uh, the continue, um, Unjustly, unjustly, you know, falsely being uh, accused of doing something that they haven't done, and and continue, you know, to be oppressed in this wicked society by the so-called white man, Esau, Edom, Edomite, you know, the Edomites, you know, the nation of Edom, you know. But I don't get into it. It's on Luke eighteen and two, saying there was in the city a judge. Which fear not the most high, neither regarded man. So who's that? Who's that judge that don't fear the most high? Who who the judge don't fear the power of Yah is? You know who y'all people? Y'all call God, but the most high, the most high name is Yahweh, and y'all people call the the Son Jesus. The name is Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew tongue. That's, that, those are the real powers of heaven and earth. Those, those are the powers, you know. And and who's that judge that don't fear the power of Yah Bashem Shai is uh. No, Esau, Edom, Edomites, that's in power right now, you know. You know, they, they don't they don't follow the laws and and of the Bible like they claim to, you know. You know, they are hypocrites, you know, they are actors, you know. These uh, church preachers or whatever may be the Pope, you know. You know, these Edomites, you know, they're just putting on the act, you know. They, they really just, just uh, cover themselves. You know, to be as they are righteous, but they really are wicked, man, you know. And it's getting more and more and more that they show their horns to, to the so-called Negro Latino natives. That they hate you, you know. What you killed, you know. They want to kill you, you know. You know, that's why Jake still, to this day, getting, getting uh, shot down and locked up for no reason, you know. By the so-called white man, you saw you eat them out, you know. You know, and the elect are, you know, continue to complain of all the unjustly acts and the oppression being done, you know. Because it's getting out of hand, man, you know. The more this keeps going, <laughs> you know. But, you know, Lord, Vin uh, Lord, uh, uh, Lord will soon come back because the Lord not going to let these devils go too far, you know. The Lord gonna let ain't Lord ain't gonna let these Edomite so called white people, red people go too far with they they wicked uh you know, agenda and you know, trying to trying you know, they trying to be like the most high Yah by you know, but they not the Lord gonna make a little you know, make them know that hey, you in power because I put you there and the Lord gonna bring them down. The Lord the Lord Lord Yah by Shah, Yah Shah when Yah Shah returns, he's gonna bring them down to the ground, you know, bring them down to nothing. You know, but on this verse, it's Luke 18 and 3. And there was a widow in the city, and she came unto him saying, Avenge me on my adversary. So, who's that widow? It's the uh, uh <coughs> the elite. You know, the widow is symbol symbolized to the elite of the so called Negro Latino natives, the Israelites. You know, you know, um, because the Lord Yahweh, the Lord, the Lord Yahweh, you know, he. Liken us unto a woman, you know. So we are that woman, you know. Uh, you know, if you understand, you know, parable. We are that woman that uh, is co complaining to the Lord, you know, a avengers of our adversary, you know, our enemy, which is the so called white man, you saw Edom, Edomites, you know. So, because this devil is not going to let up, man, you know, he's just going to continue to, you know, you know, do his do his wickedness. You know, continue to unjustly harass and rape, rob, and murder the so-called Negro Latino natives. 
you know, until the Lord Yah about Shah returns, you know. So, you know, and and, and like I said the Paul's elders and brethren, that's why we're doing doing his work because we sincerely want to get the hell up out of here, man. We want the Lord, you know, to hear us, you know. You know, we teach his word, you know, sincerely, you know. And with passion and spirit because we really want to get the hell up out of here because this ain't our risk and this ain't the place to really sit back, relax, because this devil's in power, man. This wicked man is in power. You know, you try to sit back and relax here, going to come after you and take what you got, kill you, and then it's going to be keep going to keep being the same thing to the damn so-called white man, you start eating eat him out of power. You know, he's going to pass laws to where you can't have this, you can't have that, you know. So eventually, you got to you get tired of it, you know. That's what the let men, you know, from the apostle, elder, brother, or brother on down, great millstone, are continue to complain, you know. And to say, brother, that's teaching, you know, that continue to complain about this wicked uh, kingdom, man, you know. So uh, it's getting out, it's, it's it's getting way out of control. But like I say, it's got to have no prophecy got to play play out, you know. So um, this verse. Luke eighteen to four, and he would not fear for a while, but afterward he said, and he would not fear for a while, but afterward he said within himself, though I fear not the most high, no regard, man. Luke eighteen to five, yet because this widow troubles me, I will venture at least by her continued coming, she reared me. So yeah, so the Lord said, yet this one widow keep troubling me. So that's what the apostles and brethren that continue to put out videos. Sincerely, you know, not not just to do it and just you know look good or whatever it may be, but sincerely complaining, man. Like, hey, man, this place has got to go. You know, it's you know if you not, you know if if you and this not the truth of Lord Yah, but I'm sorry, you not complaining about what's going on around you, then you have to check yourself because you should not be com you should not be comfortable in your spirit about what's going on around you. You know, you should be groaning and moaning. You know. Not not saying you walk around mad all day, but inside your spirit, you know, because the Lord hears those groanings, you know, like, fuck, you know, like, you know, you're saying this to yourself inside, you can say it inside, or you can kind of say it, you know, you know, brothers got their different emotions, you know, how they, how they express themselves, but the Lord sees it and hears it, you know, so this place is just out of control, man, you know, it should not be where you, to accept, you know, accept all these homos and, you know, these women acting crazy. You know, you can't really put your hand on these women. And they ain't running wild because you do it. They'll call the police on you. You know, but all the you know the police in, in, in general are gonna stop <laughs> giving a damn. You know, soon. You know, especially martial law come. You know, be actually coming through. They ain't gonna. They ain't gonna guard none of these women. They women gonna get stumped, stumped out here in the street soon. Going for you know, you know these times. I and mean, like I say, America ain't gonna go back to normal. You know, you know things reopen. Things gonna get. Worse and worse, man. Because the scripture tell you that second edges, man. You know, you know they, they think they said it'd be in good case, but evil still gonna grow, grow in the earth. You know, if I'm, I might be kind of uh, a little off at saying it, but you know, evil still gonna grow. Trouble, trouble times is coming. Bad times still gonna come, man. To America, Babylon, the Great, the Lord ain't gonna let this place keep going on and you know and, and thriving. You know. So, uh, so yeah, that would be a let man from the apostles and brethren, the sister, the sister brethren, you know, that's teaching the word of Great Millstone, the elect, the 144,000, continue to uh, complain to the to Lord, and, and we are, we're trying to, you know, we don't want to get the Lord, this, as the scripture say, uh, you know, uh, continue, you know, to, uh, you know, uh, you know, complain to the Lord, to the kingdom be established, you know. You know, I don't exactly say it like that. You know, like I said, I'm kind of rough, uh, roughly paraphrasing it. But, you know, we got to continue to teach the word, you know, to, you know, can't get no Lord and rest to establish the kingdom of Israel, you know. You know, your Lord no rest, man. So that's why I say, you know, to continue to continue rearing me. She rearing me. That's the time I did let because we're going to keep, you know, Lord, hey, we're going to get the hell up out of you, know. Lord, we'll come back, you know. But this um, next verse. Luke 18 and 6, and the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith. Luke 18 and 7, and shall not the most high avenge his own elect, which cried day and night unto me, unto him, though he bear along with them. So, yeah, you know, so the Lord is going to avenge his, his own elect. 
that cry day and night. You know, we, you know, sign cry. You know, putting up videos, going out the highways, byways, week in, week out. You know, this is it, brethren. You know, continue because we really want the Lord to come out and get you know get the hell up out of here, man. Because these devils is not gonna let up, man. They is not gonna let up with their wickedness, and the only way they is gonna stop, and the only way it's gonna stop is when Yahweh Shah returns. You know, you know, Yahweh Shah returns, and cause Yahweh Shah is the, the, the deliverer, so the Lord will deliver His and avenge His elect. You know, from these devils, Esau, Edom, Edomite, the Red Nation. So, um, but yeah, let me go to the next verse. In Luke 18 and 8, <clears throat> I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. So, yeah, the Lord will avenge, you know, speedily. You know, he's a lit. You know, but, you know, but when the Son of Man, when you have a shot returns, shall he find faith on the earth. So, it's all about who will remain. It's going to be the remnant. Who's going to remain through all the things to come, the times to come, the hardships, the, the real tribulations to come as we go forward. You know, it's not going to, it's going to get tighter and tighter, you know, but it's all about who will remain, you know, because as we keep pressing forward, things are going to start getting, you know, real shaking and crazy out here in, the, in this, in this uh, society, you know. So, it's all about who remain, who continue to teach the word and be strong in the faith. No matter what adversity or people come in your face talking shit or whatever it may be, you know, those times are coming more, you know. So uh, just just hope and pray that, you know, Lord Yahweh about to shock his spirit on you and be strong and bold in his faith unto death if it, if it come to if it come down to that. Or, you know, holding on holding on to this word and that Lord, you know, Make way for you to escape out of the times of Jacob's trouble, and to uh, and to be delivered from the destruction that he will bring once you know Yahweh Shai returns and you know take these devils down the so-called white man Esau eat them out of power. So with that you know, uh, well you know, I'll get one more scripture and then we'll end it off with that. The Psalm six nine to thirty three, for the Lord heareth the poor, and despise not his prisoners. So yeah, the Lord Yahweh Shai hear the poor, and the poor like say is did lit. Of the so-called Negro Latino natives, man, you know, and we are prisoners in this, you know, we are cap, we are captives in this prison, man. We are prisoners in in this hellhole, which is America, Babylon the Great, you know. Ain't nothing free about being here, man. They got paid, we got paid taxes, you know, bills and shit, and you know, you know, the oppression of, you know, you know, they these devils that run up your rent or well, it may be, man, they'll double up on your, you know. What you what you owe them at first they'll double double it up on you and you know it's just the oppression man and, and of this place man that the idea with the vexation of you know of what the so called white man Esau Edom is pushing out here man with all this wickedness man you know but the Lord do his, his the Lord the Lord do hear his elect you know you know and he not he, he he's not despising you know. What we do, the Lord, you know, he he, he takes he, he takes it great. He taking great joy of, of seeing us continue to his men, his specific men, continue to push the word, you know, and, and until he you know, to things, you know, to all the prophecies come come to fulfill, to be fulfilled, you know, to this word, the the elect get get fully sealed, you know, could be fully sealed, or, you know, well may be this, you know, be the next step to where the Lord Yahweh Shah returns, you know, so. With that, you know, I ain't made this too long, so, um, you know, I just want to go into that. So, again, I like our praises, on glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, to the apostles, to the elders, to the, to the, to the Sisakin brothers, to the few Akwa sisters that do listen. Keep the faith in Yahweh Shai, keep fighting with that. Say, Shalom.